Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk about how to paint hands. Hands can be very scary to paint. Every painting has an ugly face to get over, and with painting hands, this hump can be a lot bigger. The trick is not to overthink it and not to overanalyze. For this painting, I'm using yellow ochre, raw sienna, burnt sienna, cadmium orange, phthalo blue, quinacridone violet, and thracrinone red, ivory black, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, and titanium white. You'll notice that compared to the warm tones, the really earthy tones that I usually mix, I'm using a very cool palette for this painting as I'm adding phthalo blue into the mix. I'm also not going for the hyper realistic look where every detail of the hand is painted on, but rather I'm focusing on the getting the overall conception of the anatomy of the hands. In any painting, especially for the hands, the background is very important to get in first. This will help you gauge the values of the hands so the shadows are as dark as they need to be. You should always have a drawing of the hands before you paint. Choose your colors in terms of your shadows, highlights, and midtones. No matter what palette you use, it really doesn't matter as long as you're consistent with your shadow colors, your midtones, and the highlight color. Always start with the darkest areas first and block in these sections with thin paint. Carve out the different colors of the hands with straight lines using a big brush. You want to start with a brush that would be too big to add in those little wrinkles and fingernails and creases. That way you can focus on the masses of shapes. When you're painting the hand, think of the fingers as rectangles and not as cylinders or round shapes. If you think of each bend in the knuckles and joints as a side of the rectangle, then you can more easily apply the shadows and not have to think about where it transitions into light. Always try to keep the shadows consistent on the same side for each finger. If it's on the bottom side, make sure you do the same for each finger and you don't accidentally outline the whole finger with a shadow color. Also, don't paint the individual fingernails and creases until all the shapes are blocked in. That's probably the most important thing about painting hands. Focus on shapes and values and not on the details. Once you have all the values blocked in, then refine it with smaller shapes. Always work your way from big to small. Don't start with the details until the foundation has been built. Another thing is to check your values as you're painting along. You can do this by having a black and white version of your reference so you can check to see if your darks are as dark as they need to be or you can even just squint down and look at your reference and compare your painting to the reference to see if the darks and the highlights and the midtones are the same values. Another tip to get better at painting hands is to do sketches of your own hand. This is very convenient because you can pose with one hand and draw with the other. Really try to analyze how the joints bend and how the shapes change as you're moving your hand. With practice, this will only feel more natural and intuitive.
I hope you all found this video helpful. My free ebook is available for download at the link below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.